We're setting up a theatre company that um, focuses on gender stereotypes, um, not necessarily abolishing them, but because they've changed, possibly even using them to a theatrical advantage. Um, and we're hoping to do that by linking with universities um, in Leicester because we're very lucky and I've got two of them so that's, that's double the information at our disposal um, linking with local performers and stuff in the area um, to generally become specialists in, in gender, in gender theory. We were discussing the show Sweeney Todd and I was saying what an interesting character Beadle Bamford would be and that if I was to play a character in that it, it wouldn't actually be Mrs. Mrs Lovett, it would be Beadle Bamford and then you and said... I on the other hand said that I'd love to play Mrs Lovett, I think Mrs Lovett is a genius of a character uh, and so we just started talking about how it would be if the characters were the opposite genders so mm. Beadle Bamford was a woman and if you know Sweeney Todd was, was a woman and if Mrs Lovett was Mr Lovett and was just a big fat pie maker downstairs you know what I mean and it was a bonkers idea absolutely mental um, but then the more we thought about it the more it niggled and the yeah. more it seemed like actually this isn't such a ridiculous idea this just makes one text into two texts it just makes one piece of writing into two completely different things um, so hell let's utilize that let's go with it also I think there's uh, lots of people studying subjects that they're very passionate about um, you know in terms of looking at social change who might not have thought about theatre as a medium for asking those questions to society and creating a forum for discussion so that's why we're really keen to work at people who their, their passion is social change through their subjects and actually saying well here's a tool here that that we're passionate about and we have a level of expertise in let's merge the two levels of expertise to create a really interesting platform in in a partnership the first thing that springs to my mind is the fact that it's not conventional it's not it's not something that everyone's going to like it's in, in in some cases people might think that it's a little bit slanderous towards the original writing and it's not it's not doing what the the piece of writing should originally was originally intended for and in a way they'd be right um, but at the same time if we can pull that from the writing then there's some element of it there like we're not changing the writing we're aiming to keep that the same um, it's more that as times have changed what the writing means can mean something completely different and that's something that that I think people can be shown and I think people would appreciate we're both artists that that like a challenge. We don't want to take the easy route, otherwise you just wouldn't pick something like this if you were looking yeah. for the easy route. We, we, we like to ask questions, we like to challenge ourselves, we want to develop a level of expertise in our, in our practice. Um, so for me those are the things that really, really excite it's, me. It's a case of jumping in at the deep end. Mm. That's, that's how, I, and I feel that's how we both learn best, and so that's how we're just going to do it. Let's, let's start with something that's going to be a challenge, but at the same time it's going to be fun, like we're going to enjoy it. There's no point doing something that's great for the community if at the end of the day I don't really enjoy it. So let's do something that is going to be interesting for the community, and we'll both get something out of it, and we'll both enjoy, enjoy the journey, even if it's going to be difficult.